So uh, another question I had was, you know, looking at your career, you've been able to kind of um, stay ahead of a lot of the trends in the, in the sport, a lot of the technical trends, a lot of um, the lapel stuff, and you, you know, a lot of changes in the technical evolution. You stuck to your style and you were able to stay dominant. And, you know, one of the guys obviously right now is, uh, you know, with Noki specifically, Gordon Ryan, he's kind of presenting some new challenges for the Noki game. And I'm not asking you how would you do against Gordon specifically, but somebody with that tool set, somebody with those techniques and then the Nogi, what would you do against somebody like that? You know, how would you, uh, what would you, what do you think the mistake is that people are making against a, an athlete or a competitor such as Gordon? Uh, I don't see, I don't think I would have done anything different in the, I mean, I would, I would just train as hard as I, uh, can you know I could for you know of course he's a he's a huge uh, challenge you know you have to be fully prepared to fight someone like him so you know in terms of preparation I would just you know train my best to be on my on my top shape you know like I always had for 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 big for big fighters you know you cannot underestimate anyone and you know in, in terms of uh, technical it's I. I I don't think I would have done anything. It's, it's not because you, you would have been him or anyone else. You know, let's say if I decided, to, you know, if I would have fight ADCC, you know, again tomorrow, you know, it's, I would have trained exactly the same as I trained when I fought in 2005. You know, it's, I don't, I don't think I need to change anything else. It's uh, you know training this. I would have just trained like I always did. And uh, you know, ask you, you ask me what I think he puts uh, he puts Gordon. It different, you know, for him achieving what he's doing is, I mean, it's definitely his mind, you know, the way that I see, you can see that the determination that he has and, you know, the, the, the amount of effort he's putting on his training is, I mean, he's, I, I know that because he trains in New York and my, my, my cousin's academy. So, I mean, his, his will is probably bigger than his opponent, you know, so he, he's the kind of guy that trains like a maniac for years. That's why is putting him ahead of others. You know, that's why he's making him achieve what he's doing. You know, you can see the way he believes himself. That's the, his biggest weapon. You know, when you kind of, you have that self-belief, that alone puts you in a very d dangerous spot for your opponents because, you know, you add that to the, the, hard, the hard training. What else can you do? You know, 